What's going on everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here and welcome to UL Exchange. If you guys are new to this channel, you already know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification. But today we'll be talking about why the banks and government want a huge piece of XRP and why they are stopping innovation or stifling innovation by using the SEC to interfere, being the mediator and stopping and holding this case as possible as they can or as strong as they can until the time comes to end it. Again, guys, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Now let's get straight into this video. We'll be talking about these topics that we have already discussed or I have already talked about, but we'll be getting into the details of it. What is really going on behind the scenes? As we know, XRP is the chosen one, the one and only. So are there many things going on behind the scenes that are being revealed now? Currently, of course, this is very true. We're seeing it play out at the exact time that I'm even speaking about it. So many things are going on on the top of the surface, but also below the surface, now they're coming to the light. As I always say, the truth will always be revealed. It's just a matter of time. Now we know the SEC is coming close to making a decision or the judge, Judge Nebburn, is coming close to making a decision. And Ripple already got the Hinman emails, supposedly. And everything has been redacted. Of course, you know, as it should be or as they want it to be. But the case is coming close to an end. So many people are calling early November or mid-November, but definitely before the end of the year. And even Brad Garlinghouse said the latest it will extend to is March of 2023. So what is going on? Why are the banks wanting a huge piece of XRP? Do you guys really think the people that run the world, the people that are in the banking financial institutions, they're just going to let people come up with technology such as XRP and say, oh, go ahead, take care of the, the world global finance and disrupt the whole industry? Or are they going to say, well, congratulations, you made this and let's try to make our own. And if what we try to make on our own cannot succeed or cannot be better than you made, we're going to try to cut a deal with you, but we're going to make sure that we get the best deal out of it. So this is what's going on with the SEC and XRP with the lawsuit. And that's why everything has been held down and been suppressed so much. But, you know, when the bubble is suppressed so much, it's only a matter of time before it pops and it's about to pop like crazy. The price of XRP is going to be shooting to the prices that we have predicted before to the $10 range. But those are not our huge and our huge price targets. Those are only the small price targets that we're expecting when the case is over. As we know, XRP did not have a bull run beginning or after the bull run of 2017. XRP had zero bull runs. The, the little up to around $1.50, $1.92 it did in 2021 is not considered a bull run. It's called the suppression of the price. They pumped it up, made people sell around a dollar or something. They made people buy, actually. A lot of people buy around a dollar something and then dumped it all back down. So it's a lot that's going on between the prices and the stifling of the case. We just have to be very, very vigilant in what we're doing and take our time to access these documents and look through them, find the fine prints, read the details and know what's going on. And the banks and the big institutions and the governments will not let just XRP come and take over xrp will be used by all the, around the world but they're not just going to sit back and say xrp take care of the finances if you think that's what they're going to do and xrp is just there chilling you are completely out of your mind that's why some people have said xrp is a banker's coin or xrp is a devil and i have a whole video segment about how xrp is mentioned in the bible as well which i'll be posting very very soon most likely early next week but when all this is going on there's so much corruption going on that we don't fully even understand and the world banking financial services are not just going to sit there and look at people make millions billions and trillions of dollars while they're just sitting there on the side they want a huge piece of it they're going through the most they can to stop it you think all these world currencies all these global countries making deals with xrp are not benefiting from xrp they are 
but at the same time, XRP will benefit hugely as well. And we have to make sure that we're not being eaten alive by the bankers, by the big institutions, by the so-called governments. So we have to do the best for ourselves and hold on to those specific targets for each of us till they matter. And we can sell, you can give it to those institutions to double your money, give yield, staking, blah, blah, blah. You can do so many things with it. But we all have our own price targets. And if you guys want me to make a price target video, I can make that as well. But this is not financial advice. I'm just presenting you guys with the truth and the facts. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and you make the final decision. Subscribe to this channel. Share the video with anybody that's interested in the financial markets and specifically XRP to understand the ISO 222 tokens and fully comprehend where the future of finance is headed. I'm Crypto E with UL Exchange. I'll see you on the next video. God bless. Peace out.